It's Bob and Tom Tonight, starring Chick McGee, Christy Lee, Josh Arnold, Ace Cosby, Pat Godwin, Willie Griswold, and Tom Griswold. I am not making this up, Tom. A lot of baseball fans are going to be rooting for the All-Star Game to go extras tonight because of the new rule that says if the All-Star Game goes extra innings, they will decide the game with the home run derby. Awesome. The American League, National League will send up three hitters and they'll get three swings apiece to determine the winner. Who's going to be pitching to them? Probably just... Uh, will it just be a batting practice type situation? Potentially, yeah. With the All-Star Home be, Run... That that's who be. was pitching last night. The All-Star Home Run Derby, uh, always popular. It, it, uh, Although, we got a lot of empty seats last night. Did you yeah, notice that? I saw that. The uppers? Yeah, yeah. That's rare. The uppers and the lowers. It was a dentist's dream. There's nothing in the uppers. <laughs> Nothing. Nothing. No. I'm trying to digest that, <laughs> and it's rapidly. You mean digress it. <laughs> rapidly? No, no. I'm digesting it. It's for some reason hovering in the lower part of my sphincter. <laughs> and speaking, <laughs> that means it was a piece of <laughs> mattress. Mac is at it again. He oh. placed another big money bet on his Houston Astros. The uh, famous uh, furniture mogul and sports better bet two million dollars on the Astros to win the series, you nutballs. And if the if Houston does, he'll win on a $2 million bet. He wins $10.6 million if the Astros win the World Series. Okay. And if they don't, then he loses $2 million. Right. And is that considered to be, I guess you'd have to ask a tax expert, is that considered to be a promotional? Right. Could because that be a marketing gets, expense? Because he gets publicity out of this. Is there a... Is, you can make that argument, I would think, until they yeah. audit you. Yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm just wondering. What's the old saying? You can claim, yes, claim you can, you can claim, claim anything, claim anything, <laughs> claim anything yes, and I'm, everything. Yes, I'm investing. Uh, I'm trying to learn teach my dog to talk uh, for a future circus act. <laughs> so I'm writing off all of his dog food. <laughs> but, but if you <laughs> if you hide income, that's where you get. Isn't the wrong. dirty secret though that there are only like nine people yeah. right now working at the IRS? Well, apparently there are enough of them. <laughs> there are enough of them to audit my ass. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> did I tell you my? Oh, they got my letters. <laughs> I, uh, maybe, I, maybe I should tell that one off. No, here. yeah, don't. okay, I would. Yeah. Oh, let's um, air this out. Let's air it out. It's fun. Come on, express yourself. Skip it. No. Let's do sports. Oh, no, I'm, I'm enjoying this now. <laughs> Skip it. I'm way back here. Hey, Alex Morgan. She plays soccer very, very well. She converted on a penalty kick in the 78th minute on the pitch, and the U.S. national team won the. Conk a calf, conk conk a calf. <laughs> Championship one nothing over Canada uh, last night to secure one of the region's spots in the 2024 Olympics. FIFA president Gianni Infantino <laughs> means large baby. <laughs> Infantino. <laughs> I think, I think you're actually fairly close. It probably is. Yeah. Of course I am. I know my root words. Mm -hmm. now, the Gianni may be a little off, but. Uh, <laughs> Giant, Gianni, <laughs> I think he might have it. Is it? You got it? You nailed it? Let's okay. get, uh, let's start. Well, Jess is kind of, you're half Italian, right? Right. Can we find out what Gianni Italian? I'll look it up, yeah. In Fontaine. Uh, <laughs> the United States broke a stalemate. Rose Lavelle. Oh, Rose. <laughs> Fouled in the box. Uh oh. Oh, boy, that's wrong. Oh, a douche, please. <laughs> <laughs> what? You wouldn't think they put that in the, in the Wait, story. Wait, have you fouled in the box recently? <laughs> wow. Rose Yikes. Lavelle, it says Rose Lavelle was fouled in the box. Uh, well, that, that, her, her personal odor issues really shouldn't be part of a sports cast. Uh, <laughs> no, I think it, it's nothing that crass. Chick just means she got <laughs> elbowed in the coach. <laughs> I, I knew you couldn't resist. I, oh, I, I was going for the odor aspect. <laughs> Gucci, see. Gucci. <laughs> oh my god! How did that become a thing? Because it comes out of there. No, no, no. It's different. It's a cute sound. Yeah, it's no. yeah. Get your mind out of the gutter, McGee. Boy, oh boy. Let it work. What do you want? <laughs> now Charo knew what she was doing when she would say "coochie oh, coochie," right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You think she Even though she was that shaking way. her jugs, she was really referencing. I think she was that way all the time with Xavier, and they were. Oh, I bet it wasn't easy. <laughs> she, <laughs> he was a, uh, she, she, did that she was an excellent, excellent oh, guitar Christ. player. Here we go. What? Yes. She yes. Is. She's very good. Charo is a extraordinarily accomplished. Yeah. I had no idea. Yes, in all truth. Also, she can suck a golf ball through Stop. a garden. Stop, dude. <laughs> 
can't say that anymore, man. That's what got her the job, really. I, I, there's one thing I don't understand. Is she still alive? Yeah, she's really, she has Hard a big to look following at, I bet. on TikTok. <laughs> she's really. On social media, she has a huge following. No oh. kidding? Yes, yes. Uh, and and I've always wondered how um, <laughs> m- women, I guess, uh, mostly, I, sp- I suppose there are men that have the, the huge nails. Oh, yeah. Um, did you see Saturday Night Live this week with Lizzo? I didn't, no. She was one of the best guest hosts I've ever seen. She was really great. Good. (laughs) But she has those huge nails. I know Mm -hmm. she's an expert flautist among her many other talents. But um, when you have sort of four-inch nails, uh, how can you go about your day-to-day life? Um, you could just use the pads of your fingers for everything. Well, he wants to know about the... Yeah. Most, yeah. I'm, no, I'm, no, I mean, I'm, I was thinking like an, an, an iPhone. Like an it. iPhone, it must be really hard to... Yeah, you know, because you you've got four inches extending from your fingers. You've got yeah. to kind of right. You kind of push out. Arch your you hand, that. okay. Yeah, and not to mention wiping your ass, which of <laughs> well, course, that's makes that. yeah, you gotta, <laughs> well, you, you gotta get, get a, the, you gotta get a water pick when you're done no, to clean you, off your fingernails. No. Here's what you do: <laughs> a, little, a little gouging. Here's what you do: you get a broom, you cut like uh, two feet off the end of it, what? and you get a rubber glove. Cut off one of the fingers, put that on the end of the rubber glove to I give see. you a grip, and then okay. wad up the paper, and then go to town. <laughs> no, 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 go to town. Yeah. No. You, you need to take this to Shark Tank. <laughs> take this, McDuffin. Go to town. I'm sure that's effective until the bleeding. <laughs> now, if you're doing this and you hear whistling, I'd stop if I were. But also, by playing playing guitar with extraordinarily. Yeah, long. I don't know. I I, I, mean, I know there are guitarists who on. Uh, if, if they're a right-handed guitar player on their plucking hand, will grow yeah. nails to... But uh, it, I think it would be very t- difficult with your the hand that you're doing your fingering with, if you will. Oh. And is that what guitarists tell you? Why do you have that one long nail? Oh, uh, to help my playing. <laughs> yes, oh, you're not, you're not as a spoon for no. the Coke spoon thing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like the, like the, the managers of the bands backstage. Do we hey, wanna... Lenny, <laughs> you got the blow? Yeah. Want to guess how old Charo is? Do we? No, I would, she would have to be. Uh, I would think late seventies, early eighties. Yeah, eighty-two. Uh, Josh, don't look it up. You I'm sure. not. I'm not. Uh, you want to make doing? a guess? Just look Looking at, at pictures. See what of she Charo. looks like. Yeah. Josh, what's your guess? Hey, she want to make a guess? Oh boy, I would say seventy-five, seventy-eight. Are we going prices right rules or? Uh, yeah. If you go <laughs> over, you lose. Um, you know, I'll go eighty-two. You're all over. Really? really? Yeah, she's 71. Oh, what? what? Yeah, she was born in 51. Wow. There Amazing. You go. Oh, she's there lying. Hello. Yeah. What? You think she's lying? Is Xavier Cougat still with us? Oh, God. <laughs> no. Who is that? Is that her husband? Yeah, he was He was some famous band leader or something. And you know, Sounds like a fancy olive. Say his last name again. Cougat. Xavier Cougat. Yeah, it does sound like some kind of, I'll have the... Uh, <laughs> Mm. Let's see, out of the Chateau Briand. Is the Xavier Cougat a friend today? Oh, hey, way to go, way to go, Xavier. He was, uh, he died at the age of ni- 90. Oh, wow. In oh, 1980. Right. In 1980. Oh 1980. That beats any of my records. Jesus. I'm looking at pictures of younger Charo, and uh, I get it. <laughs> yeah, I, oh. I, as a kid, I never understood now I, I I see what uh, the the appeal was. Oh, so for she, sure. She, she, well, sure. it's a different. Goal. She's the equivalent of um, Dolly Parton. Uh, it, to, on, in one aspect of her musicality, and uh, oh, God. no, her two jugs. <laughs> yeah, her, well, okay. her breastages, <laughs> um, big old boobs, <laughs> hammers. Who's the uh, <laughs> South American singer that's very popular? Uh, Dave Matthews. No. <laughs> South Africa, he'd be South Africa. Oh, oh. Um, Tom Petty? Uh, no, it's uh, uh, my hips don't lie. Shakira. Thank Shakira. Yeah, there you go. that's I think who that. Shakira. Shakira. But yeah, not, but no, nowhere near as popular. Her hips lied to me. What about uh, last Levitate. time I saw the move? I what's her? What's her? Thought name? they were telling you, you they you love her. What's her name? I didn't hear. Her. Levitate. You? No, you wouldn't hear. Oh, when I was speaking, she decided to talk the entire time over me. We were trying. Right, we were trying to digest yeah. whatever you were talking about. I'm making a point instead of <laughs> blathering on. Okay. <laughs> said this a million times and he won't listen to me. Tom is incapable of coming in, seeing you first thing and going, oh, morning, Josh. Mm -hmm. And keep walking. He always has to say something like, there's a tornado in the parking lot. Have you seen it? (laughs) Every single time. It's got to be an amazing story. I can't wait. I just can't wait for him to hit a deer just before he pulls in the driveway. I got no text this morning. Were there deer? It could have been loaded with deer out there. 
I, there's no way of me knowing unless you text me. I'm not going to tell you now. Have you guys <laughs> seen the coyote in the parking lot? No, not in a while. Yeah, he's back. Okay. Yeah. There's a bunny rabbit on the parking yes. lot. Yes. Not anymore. <laughs> no, I saw him yesterday. No. Uh, <laughs> At first there was a bunny, then there was a coyote, <laughs> then there was then just a, a bunny. Coyote. Now there's just a coyote. Oh, okay. I love this story. You know, <laughs> you have the power to uh, inspire. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what's up now? You're, you're, you've had many <laughs> amazing ideas. Yeah. In, in, you know, the, the puppets, for instance. What do you got? Amazing. Mm -hmm. I'm going to say a couple months ago, uh, you were leaving the studio. And as you were leaving... Allegedly. No. <laughs> everyone heard it in the studio, plain as day. You're walking by us, and you went... <laughs> Not with his mouth. Big old fart. Yeah. Right out of your booty. Was this when he farted on Osuke? No, it was different. No, that was... No, but he also he also denies that. Oh, that was, so he's that was in the green room. So what is your point? So now, <laughs> just the way you have uh, an ability to inspire us to achieve... Set a standard. <laughs> right. Now, there are employees among us who think <laughs> farting's okay. Mm -hmm. Chick and I were in the hallway having a conversation, and... If there's the thing, so the hallway to the green room, that's pretty far, it's right? It's like eight feet, ten yeah. feet, something like that. Yeah, yeah, it's longer than that. Okay. But so we're standing there. <laughs> I hear what sounds like that noise. And it came from that behind Jess, so I thought it was Jess farting. No, but it was, it was, fu I can't believe that you could hear it. You can't hear, you can't no, I, hear anything. I can't hear anything. I heard that. Well, was it? Day. It was Josh, Josh standing in the break room. I thought I had, I had the place to myself. <laughs> I thought He's, it was safe. I think I think the rule the rule of thumb is you walk into the main lobby area. Not, yeah, not where our food is. Then you go into the glassed in case area there. No, you can't Let go to the main rip. lobby area because and regular people work here. Oh. It's with us animals. It's fine, but I did it in front of a regular lady one time. She hated me. I so you see what the, the problem is? Okay, so so sorry. Will you tell Josh it's not okay to fart? Well, first off, I've been farting here in this building long before <laughs> Tom did any of that. <laughs> but I apologize. I thought I was alone. That's, but you could see us in the window. No, I I couldn't. Did I mean, you, yes, you could. If I were to look at the window. You were looking at the window when <laughs> I looked at you and said, Josh, was that you? Yeah, because I heard you ask me that question. <laughs> I have a question. Has there ever been a movie in which, um, a, what do they call it, a second story man, you know, a burglar oh. is... You know, hiding behind a curtain. <laughs> Second story, <laughs> and, man. You know, someone comes into the house and <laughs> the guy's hiding there and the, the person thinks they're alone and, <laughs> and the burglar starts laughing and gets caught. That's funny. Does that ever happen? Or, 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 I'm not sure. Or if someone walks in their house and goes, wait a minute. Yeah, what is this? Well, this is, uh, something's wrong here. And then shuts the door and calls the police. <laughs> you can imagine yeah, how did you get caught? Well, uh, 20 years, I'm a successful second story man. I, 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 had, a, I had a burrito. <laughs> had a burrito, ripped one, and the next thing I know, I'm getting caught. Is second story man, is that like some weird like John Wayne movie thing or like a Clint Eastwood thing? No, that's thing? a standard. That's standard in the end. That's not, no <laughs> one's... For burglar? No one has ever heard that, Dad. No a second is, story man? No, really, it, it was around the 60s. Uh, okay, hang on a minute. Yeah, yeah it's, it's been a while. Burglar. Uh, yeah, you hear cat burglar more, and even that is, is fairly yeah. antiquated. Okay, okay. I, I, I guess I've been proven wrong. In the 60s, people did say second story oh, man. Let's see. Second story man. A burglar who enters through the upper window, according to the Oxford <laughs> so English Dictionary. To how you enter the home. That's right. Mm -hmm. So if a door is available, they can't use it just mm -hmm. on principle? Mm -hmm. Is that right? No, he's a second story. <laughs> and he, they never, that's why you would always want to buy a ranch home. <laughs> right. In, no, uh, yeah. 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 Some That'd be a great movie. Some second story man moves to a, a place and it's all ranch houses. And he's, I, Starving. I, I can't, can't, can't make a living in the damn <laughs> some, some architect, a big, 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 big fancy architect. They're, they're, all, they're all ranch houses. Damn it. I, I feel me and me and the guy that makes those stair climber things. We're both losing our ass. <laughs> top nine, the top nine foods that cause farts. I'm yeah. going to guess broccoli is one of them. Number nine, chewing gum. Yes, yeah, because you're constantly su air. swallowing yeah. Is that air. right? Yes. Yeah. Number eight, onions. Yeah. All right. Oh, yeah. Number seven, hard candy. Okay. Mm. Mm. Again, sucking in air. I did, was not aware of that. Number six, fruits. Right. Number five, soda. And other oh. carbonated drinks. It can, can be, yeah, it definitely affects me that Significantly to the amount of air you're swallowing. Mm. Number now, four. Wait, you drink more soda than anyone I've ever met. That's right. What of Is that a problem? With oh, you? I'm letting go right now. <laughs> <laughs> The seeper, we call it. <laughs> Number four, vegetables. 
Including this, this, this list is so Brussels yeah. sprouts. Did they, they yeah. ask for their interns to spend five minutes. Very, <laughs> yeah, very vague. Uh, food and, li and liquid does. Yeah. <laughs> By being alive, breathing. Number three whole grains. <laughs> whole um, grains. Number two, dairy products. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, wait, what could number one be then? Beans. Uh, beans. beans. Oh. Beans, beans, the musical fruit. Yeah. For, me, for me, it's tomato-based products. I think it's different for right. everybody, Ace. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Well, but you fart through your underwear. <laughs> <laughs> God knows what you got going on over there. Can we hear that again? Is that a, yeah. somewhere over there? Ace I'm farting. Sure can, I'm sure we can. Announcing the initial. So uh, funny. We learned that he has holes in his underwear because he. And we got thousands of letters. Thousands. Of oh, right. man, we were, it was like Miracle on 34th. <laughs> just kept bringing in them bags. in. Bags. Kim Kardashian says that she would eat poop every single day if it meant looking and feeling younger. Back in June, Kardashian told oh. the New York Times, I'll try anything. What a weird thing to say. If you told me that I literally had to eat poop every single day and I would look younger, I might. I just might. The 41-year-old recently told Allure that she really genuinely cares about looking good. She admitted that at the time she was kind of joking, but then reaffirmed that she would still probably eat feces every day if someone told her it would make her look younger. I guarantee every day somebody tells her to eat feces. <laughs> <laughs> when, asked whether, when asked whether she would eat a whole bowl, oh, the reality star right. clarified that it would more likely be just a bite. Hmm. Kardashian added, I don't think I can do a whole bowl. Uh, Kim, it's it's about your breath. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you look great. <laughs> but, uh, uh, well, so the fountain of youth is chocolate. I guess if you can kiss Pete Davidson, you can eat a bowl of shit. <laughs> <laughs> well. And I thought Kanye was the one that had the mental health issue. Mm, I don't um, think I could do it. I don't. I, I'm fine with aging. I'll take yes, it. Yes, of course. Yeah. This is a silly thing. Yeah, it's too much. But she's gone. To, I mean, we can't imagine what she's done to look as beautiful as she does so what about urine would you drink urine um can't you isn't your urine like safe for you to drink like it's okay for i mean you? but it's waste your that's body true. rejected it that's true that's true and eliminated it yeah and so you don't it's there's nothing there but if you had to drink some like if you were oh it's a great mouthwash <laughs> <laughs> if you have if right? you have cats <laughs> <laughs> what a oh. ridiculous thing. I don't know. oh god the internet um, Maybe this would help. I, 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 she didn't specify. Does she mean human fecal I th material? I believe so, but I think that I mean, it this was... would be a great way to get people to pick up after their dogs. Oh, that's true. Oh. You know, oh, oh. You, hey, Susie, you look so young. Well, I got the St. Bernard, and I mean, I, you know, chow down. On. <laughs> oh, cute oh. mastiff. Are you going to eat that? <laughs> oh, dessert. Yeah, yeah. Hey, it's uh, sweet and sugary. Uh. Oh, wait a second. Can you I'll get that? that? Yeah. Hello, Bob and Tom show. Hi, Bob and Tom. It's Donnie Baker. Donnie, how are you, sir? I heard a big piss you off came from your shave bitch about breaking his ribs yesterday. Yeah, he oh, broke his ribs yeah. over the week. He can't even come in today. He's so badly hurt. I doubt he even breathes him. <laughs> He's my friend, but I think we can all agree he hits from the ladies' tees regular. <laughs> okay. All right. You know, I once seen him get Terry out and choked up with some chicks like Susu Studios at karaoke one night in a hotel lobby down in Jonesbury. In the fact remains, I know about pain, man. I broke my ribs more than Randall Tex Car, but it do it yourself car war. Wow. You laugh at my girlfriend at the time, Gretchen. Me and her got into it at Boonies one night because I was doing body shots off a of stripper's C section, and she slipped and ended up laying on top of me. She crushed my whole upper torso and most of my crouch, and my ribs snapped. I lost my chubby. But the fact remains, broken ribs suck, man. Mm -hmm. It's impossible to cough. You, you can't even bend over to tie your shoes. Mm -hmm. And don't even get me started about having to try to drop a deuce. Oh. <laughs> Oh, God. Uh, broken ribs make it impossible to push, chick. I mean, let's do like, um, yeah. Japanese and euthanasia. But I got all constipated. Man, I got backed up worse than Panera Bread during heavy flow. <laughs> Swear to God. Oh, um, spoiler alert. 
after day five, Gretchen had to put on a miner's helmet with a lamp and go with the kitchen tongs. Oh, oh my God. God. Oh. Hang up. <laughs> hey, what's the big deal, man? We wash the tongs when we grill the steakums. Well, <laughs> okay. okay. Oh, you grill your steakums. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, Jeffrey uh, uh, broke his ribs. Yeah, he poor did. guy, man. On, man. on a sea do. Oh. Uh, he was apparently showing yeah. off on a sea do. He tried it on the highway. Yeah. <laughs> I don't have it. Doesn't Matt. work the way. Yeah, 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 sea don't. <laughs> Watch the entire show live or on demand at bobandtom.com. Hey, man, this is Donnie Baker. If you just like that video, then do your part. Like and subscribe. You have to. It's state law.